guys, uh, so today I'm going to be doing an intro to Magic the Gathering. Now, if you guys don't know what Magic the Gathering is, basically it's a game, you know, if you're not camera, basically it's a game, so, it's, it's kind of like Pokemon, but like, Pokemon's a starter for a bit. Like, you first gotta be able to understand Pokemon, then you're able to understand Magic the Gathering. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a Magic the Gathering set. This is the Planeswalker set. It has the Tezzeret Planeswalker, Tezzeret Master of Metal. Um, I'm going to be unboxing this and showing you guys what cards I have pretty much. Um, now if you don't know what Magic the Gathering is, I'm going to be doing a introductions to it. So yeah, let's get this thing started. So this is an... You pull it to Planeswalker deck. It says 13 and up, so let me just see what it says. Alright, um, hmm. All right, so, so far it looks like it's just like a weird plastic, yeah, uh, alright, so, obviously this is, an, is not an amazing, um, uh, the Planeswalker, because it's like, it's like a promo, you see it, just like how they call it in Pokemon, like the first thing you see. So, obviously it's not an amazing one, but it is a Planeswalker, and a lot of people need Planeswalkers for the deck. But let's open this up, okay? Looks like I have two booster packs and something else. Oh yeah, these things basically tell you how to play. Um, Alright, so, this is like a starter deck. First thing I see is a rare. Hmm. Alright, <laughs> it's funny. 15 card booster pack. Now let's get the first one open. So this is what it is. Ready? I, I know every single booster pack has at least one um, rare. So let's. Alright, so the first one I see is a Silk Weaver Elite. Uh, let's see what its damage is. It has two damage and has two health. It's an elf archer and it's a creature. Uh. It can block creatures with flying. Well, yeah, obviously. Fen Holler, I think I have one of these. It's an insect. Um, let me show you. See, it's an insect. And as now, this the, I forgot to say, Silk Weaver. Um, costs one green and two of any other mana. Uh, Fen Holler is one black and six of any other. This is expensive. That's not actually that good. All right, Archer Herder. Aether Herder, alright. Elf Archer Druid, um, 3 health, 3 damage. Oh, yeah, the Fen Hauler was 5 health, 5 damage. This costs, um, 1 green and 3 of any other. Uh, taken to custody. This is an instant. So, tap target creature. It doesn't untap during your controller's net. So this is kind of useful. It's not amazing, but it's kind of useful. Shock. The picture kind of looks cool. I, I don't know. Never, there's something about these. Never judge by what it looks like. Because my friend, he got these. Just be, He didn't know how to play the game. He just got it because like he didn't want to feel left out. He said, um... So he got them, and there was it was like a brain, and it was a legendary. Or like what the, the the orange, whatever you guys call that. I know it's called something else, but like we call it a legendary. Oh, like it had that color underneath it, and he didn't know what that meant. So guess what he did? He traded it for something that looked amazing, and it was like some giant golem-looking thing, which ended up only it was like an elemental, and it ended up only having like. Like, it did no damage, and it had, like, three health, and it was a defender. It wasn't very good at all. Artifact creature construct. Oh, I like all the artifact creatures. Okay, um, that's not very good. It, it's okay. Chant artifact creature for creature. Uh, it, oh. Doesn't tap during... So this makes it... It doesn't untap. That's really good. Kind of combunched. Did I get my um, rare yet? No, I did not get my rare yet. This is an enchant. Enchants. Yeah. Right. 
This is an artifact. Hello. Can you go away, Jack? Uh, yeah, see? He's being annoying. He's... Say, say hi, Jack. The wave. The wave. Right. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, yeah, the implant of combustion. Uh, sacrifice deals one. Oh, that's okay. It's just like a sacrifice card, and then deals one damage. He's still there. Oh, God. Radiant emotion. Oh, artifact you should construct. I like these. Put a one plus one counter on the radiant emotion. Oh. This is like for every. Yeah, it's okay. It's not very good. Outland boar. Creature boar. It can't be blocked by creatures too bad, I guess. It has four health, four damage, it's okay. Uh, this is... Fertile Guardian... Fertiled Guardian, I don't know. I, I can't even read that. Kinda looks cool, though. Mm. Yeah, it sucks. It's not good. Ooh, here's my rare. I found my rare. I found my rare. Which is... Walking Ballista. Oh. I don't know how to use this though. It sucks. Put a 1 plus 1 counter on Walking Ballista. Walking Ballista enters the battlefield. Dex. One plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. Put a plus 1 plus 1 on Walking Ballista. You may be plus 1 plus 1 on Walking Ballista. It deals 1 turn. So this is basically undying. From what I can read, this thing's on dying. <laughs> so that's the first rare I got. Uh, let me separate them. Alright, here's an uncommon. Uncommon, uncommon. I have a few uncommons. And I have a few commons, which are like really good. Alright. Um, that's pretty much what I got so far. Alright, so so far, I have a f one force, which I have lots of lands already. Alright, so let me separate. Here's my um, lands. My land pile is going to be right here. Right. So I'm putting my land pile right there. Then I'm putting my uncommons here. Then I'm putting my. Uh, then I'm putting my um, commons there. And my rares I'm going to put right here. So, and then my legendaries, if I can get any more, I'll put it right next to my rares. Then my lands will actually put over here, so it's in order. Alright, now let's check the second one. Okay. Um, I don't know why a lot of people, when they get like Pokemon cards and stuff, they like flip the cards around acting like, oh, it's going to be so much better if I do this, but it's really not. Alright. Here's another one of those cards. Oh, a land. It's a mountain. Alright, I found my rare. It's a legendary creature, human wizard. I cannot use that. It's not very good. Tusker. Uh, it's an instant. It's called a, um, Prince Pultas. I don't know. Savage Skullful. Countless gears run in each. Alright, that's common. Eggies animation. Not good. Very good. Implement and Malice. Filgery Crawler. Granny's Getaway. And an Arthur Herder, I already have one. Nightmare for Astronaut. Interland Drake. My friend loves the Drakes. So, yeah, but that's common. Precise Strike and Caught in the Bright. Oh, I, I hate that deck type. Now, let's get this. So, what should I use to open it? Uh, Tiny nail. Nail sword. Yeah, it's a, just a nail sword. Alright. It's not a real actually shot. Sure. It's like it's a sword. It was a nail that was flattened out to look like a sword. Here's my start. Found a swamp. <coughs> Another swamp. 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 Let me guess another swamp. 
another swamp. Island. Another. No. Another island. Another island. Another island. 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 Are these just islands? Island. Island. Uh oh, this is a land submerged. Oh, good. No, oh, it's just adding something to the end. All right, it's okay. It's not bad. It's just weird. Reverse engineer. I think I already have one of these. This should go in my um special. <laughs> Another feather torch. Which I don't know how good they are. I already have an essence extraction. I have a bunch of uncommons. Implement of examination and another one of those. Ooh! My friend have these. So this gives you three life, pretty much. I love these. Huh? And if you sacrifice it, you draw a card. Here's another one. Oh, another one. Another one. Barricade Breaker? I think my friend has one of these. I don't know how to do this one. Well, I'm gonna find rare and or legendary. Foundry is somewhere. Alright, um, well, let me just. Here's another rare. Another rare. Another rare. Another rare. I think those are all my rares. Mm. Yeah, I think those are all my uncommons. I don't even know what a Tezzeret's sprinkle. And I can't even pronounce half this up. Not me. Alright, so. Let's count the amount of uncommons that I got. Obviously, I got more uncommons than, like, anything. Oh. Oh, wait. Now these are in the right pile. No. I have a pretty high amount of uncommons. Alright, I have a pretty decent amount of uncommons. Hmm, that's what I'm saying. Uh, okay, guys, so, alright, let me explain the video. So, alright. Now, these are common, but they're really good. And I love these cards. My friend has them, and he uses them all the time. And I'm like, no, can I have one of those? So good. Right. Now, let's see this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. So on this, I got thirty. Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. So I got in this deck. I got thirty-two. Look, all this. I got thirty-two common cards. So remember that thirty-two common cards. Now, in as my um, as for my uncommon cards. Now, like because there are two um, two, uh, what are they called? Two booster packs. They're gonna screw up the results for you guys. Is what I got. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty uncommon cards. Let's count rares. I have a pretty high amount. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six rares. And of course, one legendary, which is what is on the front. You might get another legendary in this pack. Now I also got four pendulum patterns. Now these are uncommon. These are common, but they're really good. So I kept them out on their own. All right. And now how many lands? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. I got twenty-seven lands now. That's pretty decent, if you ask me. For free, I think it's 15 bucks. And that's pretty decent. This is it's a good for starting. Now, I'm going to build a deck. Now, I'm also going to explain to you what I'm going to be doing to build a deck. All right. 
So I'm building my deck right now. So first, I definitely love pendulum patterns, and these can go with any deck. It's good because they're colorless. They don't have any specific color you need, so they go with any deck, and that's good. Now, Tesseract's Betrayal. Now, what could I afford? So, I want to be able to have, I already have Darkness deck, and it's really good, but I want to be able to get some of those and add them to this. So, I also want to be able to have a water deck, so that would be useful. This, water. This, colorless. This, this is water and darkness. This is any walking ballista. And this is water. And, yeah. This is Water and Darkness, so this is a good deck so far. <laughs> I have like so many good cards in here. Also, rare does not mean they're good. Just saying. Alright, now I don't need a mountain and forest because that's my not my deck. So that's two other things I got through the lands in my deck. And now let's test out this. I cannot use that. I cannot use that. I cannot use that. I can use that. I can use that. I can use that. I can use that, I can use that, I can use that, can use that, I 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 can use that, that, that. It's option. Fine. What the? This literally has like no damage, it just has health. So this is like a defense. Yeah, it's a good defense. Alright, uh it's free too, so there's nothing for this. The wind Alright. Can I flip this I can? Alright. <sighs> Implement explanation. Yeah, this is like if I draw a card. Alright. I have one card. Um, I don't use it ever. It's like super bad. Okay, let me first put these down. Can't use that. Can't use that. Can't use that. Can't use that. These. 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 Nope. Yes. 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 I have some really good ones that are like. No. Yes. Yes. No. No. And what are these again? These are my... No, no, no. Okay. So these are the things I cannot use. And I got these in the, um, Planeswalker deck that should just be water and, um... And... That was mostly water and darkness. I got a mountain, a forest, shock, support, a uh, infiltrator... I don't even know. I don't even want to read these. Alright, now... I'm going to do an introduction after I play the game. Now, if I run out of time, I will do it in my next video. But. So, basically, when you get these cards, it does have something in there that explains how to play. So, what is it? Third World is Swivel. You need to create your own magic decks. I already built my decks that I needed to be here, but eh, they help. Oh my god, the deck. Play the deck. Okay, yeah, these don't actually explain how to. This explains how to play. Now, I have the Shibian Dragon, if I ever pronounce that. I have that and I use it a lot and it's okay. And it is not a legendary. A lot of people say it's a legendary. No, it is not. No, alright. Um, each player starts with 20 life. If you do not know that, each person starts with 20 life. Alright, um... Yeah, you basically have to... Yeah, alright, set up. Each player needs a deck of magic gather cards. Which you need seven in your hand. Which your hand is the what you have at the current moment. So what I would do is... This is what I was taught. Take this and shuffle it up a lot without looking at the deck. Alright, now. I take it and put it down. Now, in case the other person's cheating, the person you were playing is supposed to take up part of half of the deck, place the deck, and take the other half and put it on top. Then, try to take a different part and to split it into four. And to put them in like an X. 
and to put them together. Now, there is like no way you can actually get a really accurate cheat if somebody were to try to cheat. If somebody were to try to cheat, they would probably put like the best cards they have and make their own hand, which you're not allowed to do at the top. So that's why it's important to split the deck. So uh, it's you could do it as many times as you want. Now, the person would do is you would go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now you see I have seven cards. I will fan them out of you. One, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cards. All right. So now I don't. I wouldn't show it to you if you were playing. Magic the Gathering with me. I would not show you the cards. Now in this case, I will show you the cards so I can basically, but like I shouldn't show you the cards. See, now, these are the cards, and I did not organize these in what I would want to pick up. I do have my legendary in here. So, what I would first do is imagine it was my, my turn. I would place down a land, because it's like, unless you have something that doesn't cost anything, I can't play it. So I put down my land, which is this one. See, this is this one. Yeah, yeah. Say I just played a swamp. Now it's your turn. You would play a land unless you have something that's you don't need anything. Roger and I would place on another swamp, and you, you would go if you have anything you could afford. Now let me show you. Oh wait, and as so I placed on two, so I would just draw two. I had to draw. All right. Now imagine. Yeah, let me show you. These are my like what I use. Now some cards will have like a little symbol next to it. Like it might have a. a in this case, it's a sun. See? How draw that in a number? This is one, but it's backwards, so, yeah. It's a one. Now, so the ones that have a symbol behind it, that means, like, symbol is, means, like, you need one of any card. Any, you need one of any land. Not any other land, just any land. So you could have the same land. So you would need a sun, one with a sun on it, otherwise known as light, and one of any other land. That's how you would tell if you could have Hello? Hi, Dad. Um, so, this two would be played, and then I would. So, I could play another swamp, and it would be your turn to play down another swamp. And just keep going, so let me just place down all the swamps. My turn again, then I would play. I can afford anything. I still literally cannot afford anything. Yeah, but eventually I would find something that I can afford. Let me just look at my deck for something I could. Of course, I can't afford that. Foundry is something. I don't know. Here. So, yeah, I can afford this. Five. It's backwards though. So I would afford that, and as I would place that down, I would take five of these and tap them by turning them sideways. Four, five, and like, judging by this, the first one is my attack damage, and the second one is my um, health. So yeah. That's pretty much right. No. 